Good morning, we're Jacob and Jenny and we have arrived in Ambergris Cave, Belize. We're gonna be exploring today the best way we know how, which is finding some of the best foods, best local foods that we can find. This morning we got a slightly later start, but we are now gonna eat our breakfast here in San Pedro. So we came to the main square area to get some food and we're really looking forward to this. The breakfast food, that the area is known for is called a fry jack which is like oh these are huge i didn't expect that which is like a giant thing it's kind of like um an elephant ear so it's a, a lot of fried dough basically so we got our fry jacks today from the fry jack house uh, and normally fry jacks are just kind of a side that you would have with breakfast uh, where a main Belize breakfast is going to be some egg, some rice and beans maybe, or um, some sort of meat like bacon or ham. Here at the fry jack house they do it a little different. They basically put it all inside of the fry jack. Um, so it's kind of your whole breakfast all in one bite. It's kind of neat. I got a ham. I think it also has beans and cheese. Jacob got egg, beans and cheese. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all of this. We probably should have just got one. Hmm, <laughs> that's indulgent. It's just like mostly fried dough. <laughs> Good fried dough though. It tastes really fresh and and just with the ingredients in it, it's savory. But because I'm used to having the fried dough as sweet, my brain kind of thinks it should be sweet. So maybe there's a little bit of sweetness to it, but I don't actually think so. One of the things that we've seen all over during our time here in Belize so far is fresh juice. So they have a ton of tropical fruits that grow here, and they take those fresh fruits and just make the best juice with them. Uh, today I have watermelon, but they kind of ran out of the watermelon juice, so I added a little bit of pineapple to it. So we have like a watermelon pineapple juice. They're just so, so fresh. It just tastes like you're eating the fruit in just liquid form. There's not really any added sugar or anything like that. It's just pure, amazing, fresh fruit juice. And oh man, I could just drink this for every meal. And for breakfast, you cannot beat this view. We have an incredible view of the ocean. There's a beach. It's sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I'm probably gonna burn a little bit after this, but really can't beat this way to start your day. The town of San Pedro is quite a bustling place. Everyone's zooming around on their golf carts. You know, it's pretty loud, um, but we're actually gonna go get our golf cart right now and head out to a more relaxing area of the island. How are you liking driving the Ooh, it's golf cart? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it is busy around here, for sure. So one thing you have to do when you're in San Pedro area is make sure you rent a golf cart so you can come to some of the other areas of the uh, Amberger Cay. Yeah, if you're just staying in San Pedro, you might not need one. Right. But if you want to explore more of the island, there's quite a few things north of town. Um, you're gonna want a golf cart. I can't guarantee this, this is gonna be nauseating to watch. So after a 30 minute, 40 minute drive, we made it to the beach. Right now we're on a table in the water. It's fine once you get used to it. Yeah, but we are going to enjoy our time here in the water is mildly chilly. Uh -huh. Yeah, we found uh, the Blue Bayou, which has all these tables kind of set up in the water, and we're waiting on some nice drinks right now. I think we will be set here for a quite a little while. Yeah, yeah. Rest, getting out of the city in San Pedro, and just kind of relaxing a bit. Have these snacks as we oh, yeah. Ooh, so we just got some rum punches to uh, go with this atmosphere. Mm. Nice, fresh, juicy 
Thank you. Salbutes. 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 Like tortilla shells had an open face with the toppings on the top. Uh, it looks pretty good. Got some jalapenos, some chicken. Uh, the seasoning looks on it looks like a lot of the seasoning that we see at a lot of the uh, meat down here. It's kind of this reddish. Um, I don't quite know what the flavoring is, but it's really good the other times we've had it. I hope that's what this is. Oh, that's really good. Oh. Yeah, that's a really good snack. Just have like, it's kind of a mix of the, the kind of spices on the chicken, the nice savory next of it, a little bit of spice from the jalapenos. That's nice. Yeah, they're trying this. It's pretty similar to a taco. The um, shell here isn't hard, so when you pick it up, it kind of ends up just looking like a taco. Um, but the shell is a little bit thicker than a taco shell, but it's still, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about those tacos. We just finished up our Mexican food tour. So we stopped at this really neat place. There's just a bunch of different like food trucks kind of set up uh, where you can kind of eat whatever you want. But one thing we also saw is uh, this flavor of ice cream, soursop, which is a local fruit. I've never had it. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't even think I know what it looks like. Um, but it's supposed to be pretty interesting and somewhat unique to this area, or at least like tropical uh, regions of the world. Hmm, I don't know if I can taste much. Tastes like vanilla. Maybe we accidentally got vanilla, I don't know. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll have to try it again if we see yeah. it somewhere else. That just tastes like vanilla ice cream. I got coconut ice cream. Mine tastes like coconut. <laughs> Very coconutty. I'm pretty sure it was just vanilla, which isn't a bad thing. I normally love vanilla ice cream, so I'm not that upset about it. It was nice and refreshing on a pretty sunny day. Um, and this truck stop place is pretty neat. There's like the main food area and the bar and there's a stage there where they have live music. And then kind of behind that, they have a little game area with foosball, a Connect Four, some other games. And then they have this area with a pool and then they have a little pier that goes out over the water. So it's a pretty neat setup that they have here. Um, I highly recommend stopping by. Another food you need to come and get here and uh, San Pedro in Belize is fried conch. Conch is pretty big here. It's a dish you can get. And we just saw somebody clean up some conch uh, earlier today. So definitely going to get some fresh conch here. Looks like you have a little bit of dip. So go with. Okay. That was like a fresh fishy flavor with a little bit of a like tough texture. Not too tough, just kind of nice. If you like calamari, you're gonna like this. So we couldn't come to Belize without trying some of the Belizean chocolate. This chocolate shop has scratch chocolate grown from Belizean chocolate right here in Belize. And we also had to come get some coffee because you can't go too long without coffee. This coffee has some of the chocolate in it as well. Oh my, that is very strong. It's very rich. Very strong, very bitter. Um, it's like 
intense, it tastes like intense, intense coffee, like very, very strong coffee. You can definitely taste the notes of chocolate in it though, as well. And of course we had to get some chocolate to try too. We got a bar of dark chocolate pineapple. They had some interesting flavors inside. They had sesame seed, they had cocoa, chili, but we love pineapple, so we want pineapple. Mm. That was some good chocolate. Rich, premium. A little bit bitter, but not too bitter. And just that, a little out of sweetness pineapple makes it an awesome, awesome treat. So for dinner, we came to Caroline's cooking, which I'm really excited about this. Um, for our drinks, we got some fresh juices again. We couldn't resist, they're so good. And then we're gonna get some appetizer and something we're really looking forward to for Course. So our first course is ceviche, which isn't uh, originally from Belize, but they've definitely embraced it here. Um, ceviche is a dish where the fish is just cooked by like the juices of the different things that it is marinating in. And we got Kong ceviche because that's a local specialty here. Solid. Um, the um, um, the first thing you'll notice is just that punch of lime juice, that very citrusy lime juice in them. It's all the different uh, vegetables. It's such a fresh tasting dish. I love it. I'm excited to eat all of this. So you can't come out to the island without getting some seafood, of course. Uh, just like the ceviche we just had was amazing, uh, there's tons of other seafood here. And one of the main specialties that they're really well known for here on Ambergris Cay especially is the lobster. Uh, so if you're here during lobster season, make sure you get it. Um, it's supposed to be just amazing. There's even a lobster festival. Uh, what we got here is grilled lobster tail, in a uh, with garlic um, and butter and some spices on it and I'm pretty excited about this. I've heard tons of amazing things about the lobster here. It's all fresh caught straight from the sea. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so uh, let's dip this in some of the butter, of course. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, it's like heaven. <laughs> oh my goodness. The lobster is just so tender and flaky. Oh, and then the butter on it. It's just being so rich. The spices aren't very aren't hot. It's giving a nice, good flavor. Oh, nice and warm. Oh man. This is amazing. We ate some pretty amazing food here in San Pedro. Yeah, and it's been just great exploring the island. Let us know what foods you like, what foods we miss, and what foods we have to try next time. Yeah, uh, we definitely hope to make it back someday. Definitely. So make sure you subscribe. Of course, we're not finished here in Belize. And give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more and you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.